Hi everyone. Welcome to Zenart Supplies. I'm Kathleen from the Zenart team. Today I'll be showing you some easy and relaxing watercolor meditation exercises using our very own Aspiring Artist series sets. So let's give our busy minds the much needed break and I hope you join me and have a relaxing and great time. Make sure to change your water every now and then so it won't muddy your colors. I'll be using Zen Art's new watercolor palettes from the Aspiring series. Allegra contains more warm and lively colors, while Sereno has more of the cooler colors that are perfect for painting seascapes and flora. And the Prezioso is an all-metallic set with shimmering colors. And finally, Espresso that comes in a small pocket-sized package but comes with 12 awesome colors. Make sure to have a thick enough paper. And then I'll be using brushes from Zenart Supplies Turner Collection. This 14-piece set comes with 13 brushes and one palette knife. This is useful for absorbing excess water. Now let's start! First thing you do is you wet your brush and you choose the colors that you want to use. Here I'll be using cool colors, greens, blues, and purples. So just relax and don't overthink it. You don't have to make your circles perfect. Just enjoy the process. Try to experiment, adding more water, less water, more color. You can have as many circles as you want. You don't have to keep them lined up, that's just me but you can create your own design. You can have a variety of sizes. You can have big ones, small ones, all small ones, all big ones. Anything you, you like to paint. When I do my meditations, I like to create patterns. I find it hypnotic and relaxing. You also don't have to fill the whole paper, so don't be pressured to. And now let's do some lines for this exercise. I'm going to use warm colors. Red orange, yellow, I'm first starting out with painting vertical lines. Again, you don't have to make anything perfect. Don't stress out if your lines are not straight. And you can always add more color if you feel like it's too light. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I am making horizontal lines. You can do the dry brush effect or you can always add more water if you feel like you don't like it to be too dry. And now I'm making wavy lines and finally some diagonal lines. You can totally create all sorts of patterns just with lines. Next up, I'm trying a new brush, the angle brush. And I'm switching out palettes from the Allegra to the Sereno to try out some more of the cooler colors. Here I'm playing around with the flat side of the angle brush and the thin lines it can create as well. I'm creating triangles of different sizes. Just really playing around. always go over some parts again if you want to make them darker or if you want to add more water just be in the moment enjoy it We're so used to thinking about things all the time that it's hard for us to shut down. But these exercises are perfect. You don't have to overthink things, just play around with the colors. I'm adding smaller triangles inside some, or maybe most. I'm like that. I just go with the flow, see where it takes me. So I'm trying another brush, a filbert brush. So this is actually a great time for you to be able to try out your different brushes, see what each brush can do. Coming from the more vibrant painting of the triangles, I think I'm going to make the squares more muted. more aquatic colors the filbert brush is actually one of my favorite brushes to use it can be used in so many ways I used about three or four colors here. So it's also nice to experiment with just what you can do with a few colors. And now 
I'm back to using a round brush. I think this is the number seven brush. And also using warm colors, reds, oranges, yellows. Mixing some yellow orange as well. With abstract shapes, you can totally be as creative as you want, and you're not pressured to make it look like anything. Here, I think I'm gonna fill up most of the paper. Overlap some designs. There's just something so freeing when you don't have to plan anything ahead, you don't have to think about it, you're just there in the moment, just painting whatever comes to mind. It's very cathartic. Not even planning the colors. I'm just basically deciding if it's warm, cool, or a mix. I'm still using the number seven round brush. Clearly, it's my favorite. And also the Sereno palette. I'm creating half circles of different sizes, facing different directions as well. Half circles remind me of the moon. So it inspired this palette of cool colors in muted tones, deeper tones. And so this time I'm going to try leaving more white space. I really like meditations because I can explore filling the whole page or filling just parts of the page it's the perfect time to keep experimenting so just take your time and see where the flow takes you and last one here I think Now I'll switch out palettes again. I'm gonna try the espresso palette and also the mop brush, the round mop brush. So I can create some factor lines and make a rainbow with colors that just blend next to each other. The nice thing about mop brushes are that they can handle a lot of water. When you dip it in water, it absorbs a lot. So you can paint longer without having to re-dip. I think I'll add a tiny one here.
And now I'm back to using my number seven round brush to create arches of different sizes, different thickness. The nice thing about having a good sized round brush is that it's so versatile. You can use it to create thin lines with its fine point, thicker lines with its body. So if you can only have one brush, this would be number one. And I'm using cool colors, blue greens, blues, blue violets. And I'm creating arches in different orientations. Just really playing around. And now I'm going back to the Allegra palette for some warm and vibrant colors and using the mop brush again to create thick lines with a good amount of water. I'm creating the main pattern to start out my plaid design. And again, if you feel like if it's too dry, just add water, just go over it again. And don't stress out about parts that overlap, parts that will bleed on each other. It's actually quite fun to see what effects that will create. And now I'm using the filbert brush to create um, still a thick line but not as thick as before. And I think I'll be switching brushes to create a thinner line using the round brush for that, the smaller round brush, getting some yellow. The colors I used actually I got from a shirt that I have that looks like this. So this is from a shirt of mine. You can totally have fun and create your own wonderful plaid patterns. Perfect time to switch brushes and see what you can do with them. For this last exercise, we are doing a simple wash using cool colors. I'm using a mop brush because it's just perfect for washes. It holds a great amount of water and pigment that you can go far without having to re-dip. I also like to leave some white spaces, keep some, some of the paper showing through to create 
kind of effect. So play around with things like that as well. It's nice to see how the colors will bleed through. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that and found it helpful. Do check out our other videos as well. Don't forget to share and hit the like and subscribe buttons so you'll get notified whenever we have new videos out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.